Oh happy, oh happy day. Harry Maguire poo, has been found guilty for the three offences that he committed. This is music to my ears. He doesn't deserve to breathe the same oxygen as Laura Bynes citizens. He has now got to be kicked to the curb and his contract at Manchester United terminated. You can't have a mindless thug like him in and around Manchester United. And I go further than that. He should be kicked out of football altogether. He's been found guilty in a court of law. The guy is pure, utter scum. It's always the quiet ones you've got to watch out for. You can always tell what a person's like with their company they keep. And I'm absolutely happy that justice has been done. Because he deserves this up. And also he should be charged with um, breaking social distancing rules as well. Because you want no social distancing in those footage. And all these top reds who are saying, oh, he's innocent, he's this, he's that. If you condone what he did, you're as bad as him. And you should be setting an example to people, kids in particular, who watch your videos and follow you on Twitter thinking it's acceptable to do what him and his scummy mates did. He should be locked in the stocks where people throw rotten tomatoes at him. These are views everyone should share and are scared to voice them until now. He's let everybody down. He's let himself down. He's let the club down. And most importantly, he's let his family down as well. How can his family look him in the eye now that they've got a dirty, dirty guy, right? A criminal for a son. That's what he is. He's a bloody criminal. It's a disgrace. And it's a shame that it had to end up like this. We should never have bought him in the first place. You know, this is not about hanging out with the wrong crowd. You know, there were rumours that Rashford and Brandon Williams were with him during the day. They didn't get in trouble. McTominay went on a holiday. Did he get in trouble? No, he didn't. And I'll tell you anything, I'll bet you anything in the whole world within the universe, right? If that was Matic or McTominay guilty, top reds would be going guilty. Get him out of the club. Because Maguire, and you like him, you're like a convicted criminal, do you? That says more about uh, you, doesn't it? And how you perceive, you know, because I don't think it's funny. You know, I don't expect our fans to laugh like a hyena. It's not funny. Rival fans, you'd expect to be doing that. But not our own fans. Because it's, you know, it's a bag of tell with what rival fans do. You know, but I'm glad he's been found guilty. And he needs to be set an example of. You know, he needs to be in prison. And that's what he needs to be because he's, he's, he's made loads of mistakes. I mean, this, these are not Mickey Mouse charges, you know. These are the real McCoy that he's been found guilty of. You know, and I've kept very quiet about this. Because obviously, you know, with it ongoing... But now that it's out in the open, I'm sick to my stomach. It's vomit inducing. You know, and Spawns to be looking at and going, oh, I don't want to put my money and plough my money into Manchester United who've got a convicted criminal um, playing for their club. Let's get it out. You know, when somebody was accused of, uh, of racism from AFTV, they got hurt and drawn and quartered from the get-go. And I bet the same ones who were defending Maguire... And the same ones who condemned Caroline Flack, God rest her soul and all that. When she stood trial. I bet you all reprimanded her say she's guilty, guilty, guilty. You know, Maguire, you're a scum. I want him out of this football club. I don't want anybody defending him. Because you're always just as bad as him. You know, it's an absolute felony in this. You know, we don't need any more negative headlines. And this is another one. And he only has himself to blame. I have no sympathy for him. I just pity him, to be honest. I pity the guy. Because you've done what you've done. Disgusting. And you should be held accountable. If that was Raheem Sterling, different story altogether. The media not saying much about that, are they? When Raheem Sterling bought his mother a house, Daily Mail wrote an article, a full-page spread about it. When he shopped at Primark, like any normal person does, Daily Mail, the same applies. It's absolutely disgusting. It really is. You know. And Stern does nothing wrong. If you've got that kind of money, you're going to buy your bloody mama house, aren't you? You know what I mean? 
if you've ended up poor throughout your life and you get into riches, you're going to do that. Aren't you? It's a sensible thing, and anybody in their right mind would do that as well. You know, giving a gift to his mother. That's when you got Paul Pogba a couple of days ago with a kid consoling him. No trouble about Paul Pogba at all. Doesn't get into trouble. Doesn't say boo to a goose. And he's clean as a whistle. There's no things about him. He's a law-abiding citizen and Maguire is a thug. But we all know the reason why, you know, Sterling and Pogba got criticism. And we all know why top reds will defend Maguire. You know, I don't think it's funny, to be honest, but there you go. But then the same ones who defend Maguire, the same ones who want Jack Grealish, even though he still has to stand trial, by the way, for breaking social distancing rules, are running from the scene of the crime. The same ones who don't social distance on the fan cams. Yeah? So there you go. Tells you what you need to know about them, doesn't it? But then, you know, I want to trust them as far as I can throw them. So, just to recap, he's been guilty on three charges and hope, I hope and pray that he gets sentenced. Because if he doesn't, then, well, my mind will boggle. I'm mystified how anybody can defend him, but there'll be those who defend him. But for me, they're defending him because of old bravado. And because of, oh, he's done nothing. He's going to say boo to a goose. He's innocent. He's not that type of player. It's like when you do a tackle in football. Oh, he's not that type of player. Well, he still broke the guy's leg, didn't he? And that is the recurrent of that. You know what I mean? Ridiculous. You know, but, you know, at least I'm a law by and says I actually don't get into trouble with the law. You know, because I know how to behave and he doesn't. So, yeah, there you go. So, hopefully he gets sentenced and, uh, yeah, get out of my bloody club. I don't want him to be associated with this football club because if he is, then... Kids are going to go, well, hold on a minute. If Maguire can get away with this, why can't I get away with it? And everybody else will be saying the same thing too. Disgusting. And that's all I've got to say.